Did you base Siegfried's mm-hmm. accent off anyone in real life that you knew? Where did you come up with the specifics for doing that accent? Well, okay. It was different from what um, Sid Caesar did with it, because his, his German was a sort of a guttural German. And I was, uh, I was very fortunate. I was going to a shrink who was from Austria. Now, the truth is, when Europeans learn English, they will invariably learn it from a Britisher. So there would be just a bit of a British accent along with a German. So I stole it from the, uh, from the shrink. And uh, that's okay. He didn't know. <laughs> Profitably. You stole, yeah. it w- you stole yeah. well. You stole from the best. Yeah. Uh, and it, y- I presume you'd never played a character before who ended up with a catchphrase. You ended up with the, uh, this is chaos, we don't shush here. Yeah. Where, how, did, how did that ca- a catchphrase come about? I don't know. It was written and uh, or it just came from someplace. I, I don't know where. This is chaos. We don't sh- we don't shush here, or or uh, when uh, 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 Starker uh, was a certain then uh, Siegfried uh, takes off in the airplane and he goes. I said Starker, this is chaos. We don't do 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 here. <laughs> so that became a catchphrase. Um, did people request it of you at the time when you would, uh, at the time, if you'd run into people who would recognize you, was that catchphrase so well known even then that they would ask for it? Oh, yeah. And I do these autograph shows. People say, oh, would you write that? Uh, this is chaos. We don't, this, this, and this and that here. I have, I have one in, uh, in Memphis coming up uh, in June. But people will love the Siegfried thing more than they do the, the love boat thing, although they do love the love boat thing. Siegfried's look. Now, you mentioned you were 33 when this break came. So Siegfried, if you do the math on him having been in World War II or whatever, was quite a bit older than you. There, there was, excuse me, there was never a reference to having been in World War II. Okay. We assumed it, though, didn't we? Not necessarily. He was just that Nazi mentality. Okay. But he was older than you. Siegfried was older than you. He was older than me. And so we had, we had fun with the gray hair and the Heidelberg dueling scars hurt like hell. We, they had liquid collodion. Collodion, we had a brilliant makeup man, uh, Ray Sebastian. He would uh, apply the collodion here where the Heidelberg dueling scar would go. And it sort of sucked in the, the skin. And it was, taking it off was, was painful. Keeping it on was kind of painful, but it really sold the fact that there was a, an indentation in your face. After a while, I said, please, <laughs> let's not do that again. Do it with, do it with makeup. So it was made with, with a dark, and then and there was a, it was a white uh, thing on the side of it, and that was believable. But the liquid collodion really was perfect. And Siegfried had a, a mustache too. I a mustache, yeah, to cover the uh, to cover these darling lips. It was low on the low on the lips, so it really looked like um, an authentic thing. And after a while, I grew a mustache, but my wife doesn't like uh, facial hair, so. What was his relationship like with Maxwell Smart? They. Both seemed so incompetent in the same ways. It seemed like they were almost made to be foils for each other. The relationship somehow was was viciously friendly, or some some kind of insane thing. I would capture him, and then he would get away and and uh, and evade <laughs> evade the, the capture. But um, it worked. And then the first one was so brilliant. We had the exchange of weapons in the first one. We met in the park. And my, the, the attitude was supercilious. I know more than you know. And we had the exchange of, of weapons. So we take out one, wep- one weapon out of this run with the, with the numbers and the, and the letters, this, this uh, gun and that gun. And there were, there were some other guns and some other guns. He said, is there anything else? I said, well, yeah. I have the suicide ring. The suicide ring? I said, yeah. 
My wife said, if I ever take it off, she'll kill me. So that was the, the joke that, that ended that. But Don allowed me to get away with, like if you have to get away with, with getting a laugh, it just turned out to be very, very lucky. And Mel did not cast me because he was very busy with silent movie. Mel Brooks. But it was, saying, yeah. it was Leonard, Leonard uh, who, who cast me.